my gorgeous sparkly scrumptious delicious tourists oh welcome to your live tarot reading this is going to be for you and your person baby whatever that means to you situationship relationship bumble date marriage uh, let's take a look at Taurus, someone raising venus ooh, 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 please show me <laughs> did you see that nervous energy someone's quite nervous about this connection um please show me just what's going on here also Taurus, with the you versus them readings we're assuming some kind of a rift or separation happening between you and your person some something in the air baby yeah so one feels abandoned by you but bill why do they feel abandoned maybe they did something bad yeah six of swords there was you know there was i think there was a question in the past here between the two of you it was something along the lines of we either move forward together or, or separate like you know like it like you know what I mean? Like you, you need to choose. Are you going on this journey by yourself or you're coming with me? I think this person is still choosing you, the, uh, the lovers. But they're nervous about the connection. They think you're rejecting them. They feel rejected, dejected. They feel like you left them like out there in the lurch. And if they, you know, if this is someone who ghosted or in any way broke up with you, they want to change this. This is what they want to change. This is what they're trying to do. Hmm. Let's see what happened here in the past to make the situation so Taurus, my baby. <clears throat> Please show me your rules, what happened in the past. Also, Taurus, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give me a kiss. Mm. You know, mommy loves you so much, Taurus, because we're two opposite signs. We're two sides of the same love coin. I'm Scorpio Sun and Rising. You're Taurus. We're like little, mm. we're like that. <laughs> I was like, mm, we're like that. <laughs> We're like that. Um, but just like, you know, we're like night and day. It's beautiful. It's so poetic. We, we're like so close and yet so far away. But, but it's kind of like, you know, we're, we're working with the, same, with the same energy of life, love and life, Bill. Taurus is all about the love. Taurus belongs to the goddess, so does the scorpion. So <clears throat> we, you know, we belong to the magic of the goddess, baby. Huh, nine of swords. Oh my god, I got like a little frog in my throat. I was fine until, oh my gosh, Bibbo, mommy, I know, like, mommy is falling apart, baby. I'm telling you that. <clears throat> I guess I've, I've been like, mommy's been neglecting you. I've had like some um, physical body issues of, in these past few days. So I've, I've just had, I, I don't know, it's been crazy. And then there, were, there was also like a psychic thing. I just, a lot of psychic darkness. So I didn't end up posting the videos I made for you, baby, because they were so darkness. <laughs> Seriously, maybe I'll post them later but yeah anyway mommy's back <clears throat> but now I can't talk because there's something in my throat but I was fine before so maybe it's this person so nine of swords is someone who caused you a lot of pain because of their devilish behavior like there's devil here and it's not a cute devil this is not like stickability devil this is someone who's like yeah this is a problem someone's very egotistical someone who's very toxic very manipulative they did whatever they pleased this person did whatever they pleased let's see what it is that they did and mm, I see you lonely all alone by yourself in your bed you know crying into your Hello, wondering where is this person or what's going to happen next. If it was a new energy like a bimbo himbo from Tinder, anyone between you met on a Tuesday might be boo. It was someone who kind of came into your life. It seemed like, it really seemed like you maybe even manifested this person into your life or something like that. It just seemed like all the signs were good. But when it came to it, this little devil came out. Not even a little devil, it was a big, big bad devil. Caesar, yes, egomaniac. This is an egomaniac. It's not even a manipulator or narcissist. It's just like an egomaniac, megalomaniac, like Napoleon, Caesar, like whatever. Any gender, you know, gender is arbitrary, but this is the emperor here. So, you know, with the devil, this person did what they pleased. I don't like this energy. So, baby, you know how it goes with Blue Angel Love Tarot. We never assume cheating unless it's like uh, you got the receipts yourself. So, uh, whatever this was. But I do feel like it's someone who felt uh, who felt entitled to step out of a connection. Uh, you know, if it was a bimbo himbo from Tinder, and whether they did that or not, it's, you know, you got the receipts. If you don't have receipts for it, you don't feel like they did, and then that's not part of the message. It's not for you. But if you already know this happened, it's like, I'm telling you, Bibu, then you need to know this. They felt 
entitled to doing that. If it was a bimbo himbo from Tinder, something new, it was like, wow, like this person is amazing. I can't believe we met each other. They seemed so great. And then like very quickly they turn into this devil and you found out that they have all these entitlements to them, like in their mind, in their soul. They're like, well, I'm entitled to see other people. You're not where, you know, like they didn't tell you about certain things about themselves or something talks about their, it talks like about their behavior. But in this case, the devil is not like, I don't think they had addictions or anything like that. This is like the devil was about who they were and how they move through the world in a relationship. And it's like, yeah, I, I do whatever I want. I do whatever I want. I'm not accountable. Who cares? This person could have power or money to some extent. Maybe they're really good looking and pretty gorgeous, you know, scrumptious, whatever. This boo might be using that um, as a form of power. There's money here too. Uh, you know, eight of, uh, eight of pentacles. <sighs> and maybe they were hoping you'd be okay with the Taurus baby. But it's someone who didn't show you their true face at first. You know, at first it seemed like, oh, perfect connection. And then the devil came out. Uh, if it was a more established connection, this was, you know, something that was very prolonged for many months or many years. Nine months or nine years doesn't have to be exactly this number, but it was like a very long time before you understood that this could not continue any longer. This person has a beautiful public face. They're like this, you know, emperor of Rome. <laughs> Hello. This. they're like uh, you know like yeah uh, but like you know when the doors are closed they're a devil they're very negative they could have been very controlling pushy with you but then when you're like where are you going honey they're like none of your business i'll be gone for two nights you know and kept you wondering um so again i'm not necessarily seeing someone who was like a cheater but someone who was like made you wonder and never explained or someone who played with your heart played with your mind very toxic energy because they think that they are uh, the uh, pope of rome or something they th think that they're caesar um they would like, you know, their excuse was work, like I have to work hard or something, like none of your business kind of thing. They wanted to have two separate lives, maybe to some extent. But again, it was different rules for different bit They did, they would not be okay with you stepping out or telling them none of your business, but they, they felt like they could do that. So now they feel, now they feel abandoned. Maybe you had enough of their trash bit bill, you know? There was some kind there, there was some kind of a confrontation here, you know, things could have changed quite rapidly with that uh, Wheel of Fortune. Things changed very rapidly. Maybe you were just like, you know what, no more. <laughs> or this person, you know, found that you were not subordinating to them anymore because you put your boundaries up and they were like, well, you need to choose like my way or the highway. And Taurus was like, highway, all right, let, let me polish my horns and, you know, <laughs> get my little hat and go okay bye <laughs> you know and now they feel abandoned um i think this person to some extent also feels like they betrayed themselves i think they i think they thought taurus because you have immense this way i love my taurus energy so much and i've been manifesting tourists into my life all year because <clears throat> Taurus has immense stickability. Taurus is very, you know, it, it's a fixed sign. It has stickability. Taurus is in the, you know, like the turncoat type. I think this person got used to like giving them chances or maybe they thought because of your prior behavior, you would just always have stickability. But Taurus got sick and tired of this. Or, or Taurus changed. You changed. So this person gave you an ultimatum. And uh, even if they gave you the ultimatum, told you to leave, you were like, now they feel abandoned because they're like, well, if Taurus really loved me, they would have stayed the same. You know, they would have stayed with their boundaries down and no boundaries and allowing me to do whatever I want. Ace of Pentacles. They do still see, see you as this gift from the gods. All right. They do still see you as a gift from the gods. Um, they're not sure what to do right now. So they're, it's this quiet time presently. Quiet time, time of reflection, seven of cups and the hermit. But you know what? It's good that they're in this time of reflection. Let them reflect on what they did. Let them reflect on why this uh, relationship didn't work out because <laughs> it's dumb. Like they're the reason, like that is the reason. Reflect on it, reflect on yourself. Let's see what's coming in in the future and any advice for my greatest mistress. Oh, Taurus, I love you. I miss you, mommy miss you. Mommy's been neglecting everyone. <laughs> Mommy's been in a dark, scorpionic place. No, it's okay. It's just like, like my body and my soul just went through some kind of a death and rebirth in three days. I don't know. I just have like, it's okay. I just have this like, I have a specific, I have this like special kind of, special kind of anemia. Um, and I had to, uh, I, I'm going to need to get some emergency, like a little bit of an emergency intervention on that. Cause I became, like, it just made me <clears throat> like, it just eats away my body in a special kind of way. 
okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. So it's not like life-threatening, but it's, uh, it's, it just makes you, um, it literally takes the life out of you, but you're still alive. Okay, whatever, because I would know like, uh, life in me, iron, okay. Uh, uh, seven, <laughs> I'm sorry, Tori, it's like too much information. Uh, it's something called pernicious anemia, and it just like, it's very difficult, difficult to manage, and I just, uh, I, missed, I missed one treatment for it, and now I feel like trash, <laughs> basically, that's what happened. <laughs> um, okay, anyways, um, the, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god seven of wands and four of pentacles protect your heart taurus protect your heart protect your safety the safety of your darling little soul and darling little heart if you want to let this person back in they really need to have all the passwords you know it's like you got to test them like sphinx you're like okay you know what's my favorite color what's my favorite shoe size why did why did we break up in the first place how have you changed you know like you know name three capital cities beginning with p i don't know like but you gotta you gotta quiz this uh, mother okay like you gotta quiz this person because this is not like you need to like really guard your heart and think about how you've been doing without this person maybe there's been a separation for the past five months for some of you or since um maybe even virgo season for some of you could be one year you know different you know different storylines for different people as usual taurus but you know think about how it's been without this person has it been calmer is your heart more intact does your heart hurt less you know just saying i mean that's what the tarot said tarot's just saying i'm just saying okay that should be like one extra card in the tarot just saying okay so this is what i have for you today taurus like so you know basically uh someone is coming through oh yeah i forgot to tell you oh my gosh timing so uh yeah someone is like they're still thinking of how to hatch this plan how to come back into your life or how to get it get you to come to them this is my issue with this person is that they've not really changed they're very defensive yeah so how long is this going to take for this person to transform this to some extent yeah well i mean you know i feel like when um i think in this in this winter of our discontent things will continue a little bit trashy all right you got the king of pentacles especially if you're if you're dealing with a capricorn which you might be a cap you could be dealing with all the other horned ones the capricorn the aries you know also scorpio we have like imaginary horns we have double horns um i'm just kidding I'm not kidding uh, uh capricorn aries could be capricorn aries could be that's pretty much it. maybe a virgo Maybe a Virgo, but I feel like it's Capricorn, Aries, maybe a Scorpio too. Um, doesn't have to be. Maybe it's just their aura or their like energy in their chart. But this person is going to take a long time to get off of that throne. This can came up in one reading today other than yours. Can't remember whose it was, but it was the same energy. It was like, wow, this King of Pentacles does not get off of the throne. It's like he's grown into the throne very set in their ways it's better because it's not emperor anymore so now it's the king but it's still like you know this this is someone who needs a long time reflecting and working on themselves so they can come come in towards you to meet you halfway but i feel like when things get warmer so if you're in the northern hemisphere when things when when the climate becomes warmer this person their heart will warm warm to you more too it doesn't mean they're gonna wait forever it could be capricorn season this person comes in because it's going to be, you know, closer to the warmer time or closer to spring. It's going to be because, you know, when the lights are out, you know, Christmas could be Christmas time for some people when the lights are out. Uh, that kind of a situation. But there's going to be some contact. It's going to be attempts at something. I don't even want to say reconciliation because this person is a very difficult douche food that you're dealing with. Otherwise, I'm not going to lie. Protect your heart. I, Yeah. They just cause you so much pain. Like through the swords and six of cups. It's just saying like as advice, like remember what happened in the past. Remember what they did. Doesn't matter even what they are today, but just remember what they did, baby. This is all Taurus, but just remember you're scrumptious. Mommy loves you. This douche food doesn't even deserve you. I don't care if you were with them for 20 years. Just like delete from database. There's going to be better people coming through. You're gorgeous. You're Taurus. You belong to the goddess. You are the bull of the goddess. You are everything, baby. I love you so much. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoyed my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, I like the video because 
liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, my gorgeousness, let, um, let me know. Let me know. In no, don't let me know in comments below. No, no, no. That's how you attract the scams. Um, check out my description box below. Uh, all the information about private readings is there. I'll see you next time. My baby, stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. One more.